Hi, my name is Christian Maggio. I am with Team 23, and the site that we are working with is Unleashing Potential. Um, we are at the Patrick Henry location. So our team had to, um, our plan was to implement um, a conflict resolution and learning module over the course of four different site visits um, with the children at Unleashing Potential Patrick Henry. As we went from visit to visit, our plan was to show um, using skits, teach them, and then have the students teach back to us what they learned about conflict resolution. Because of what is happening in the world and COVID-19, all schools in the state of Missouri, um, and I think throughout the US, um, have been shut down and transitioned to e-learning or online learning. So we will not be able to go back to Unleashing Potential, Patrick Henry, to teach the students ourselves. So. Um, we still think it's very important that um, we're able to implement our project because of the issue of conflict resolution um, is a really real problem. Um, as I talked in my last critical reflection, more and more people are turning to violence and conflict as a way to deal with their problems. As a Patrick Henry faculty member told us, um, it is one of his worst fears that one of his students will be hurt or killed on the streets of St. Louis because of violence. Our goal is to teach them how to resolve conflict at a young age and so they could take this and use it when they're older. Because of all that's going on, my team and our faculty member have been talking and working out a way that we can still implement our project despite the pandemic and the distance it puts between us and the community of St. Louis. Since our last team meeting, my team has been working interprofessionally on our conflict resolution module that we are going to be making for Unleashing Potential. Our new plan is to make a step-by-step -step module that a faculty member at the facility can use and learn to help implement with and to the students um, when school and unleash Unleashing Potential is back in session. So we are taking our plan for each day and putting them onto paper pretty much um, and making sure that there's plenty of direction um, and activities that the faculty members can utilize to be able to implement and teach to students about conflict resolution. There is still, we're still going to keep the pretest to establish a baseline of their knowledge and then that's going to be followed up with a post-test at the end of the module to see how much information and knowledge they've gained about conflict resolution. We'll be presenting the module information to um, our faculty member and a UP faculty member via Zoom to teach them about our module and like what our expectations are. Um, we all hope that this goes well and that they're able to implement it and maybe they'll be able to implement it on a bigger scale and use it at different unleashing potential sites. Um, this is all a big adjustment, but I think our group has done a really good job and done the best they can. We're all working together and I think that teamwork is something that's really gonna make everything that's going on a lot easier.